Hey guys, move my auntie's house. Look how beautiful that picture is. The theater seats. Y'all see my shoe? Size two and a half and kids. And what's, what's it called again? This is Ethiopian food. This, this is Dora Watt. Uh huh. That's with the chicken and the egg. That's rice, white rice, split pea, lentils, potatoes and carrots. This is um, tibs. That's what they call it in Ethiopia. So this is um, stir fried beef. Okay. Collard greens. And I'm coming with something else. Okay. You take the endira, you tear it off, and just pick up your food. You know, okay. like that. Okay, and this is mm -hmm. Ethiopian food, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's mm. so good. Oh my gosh. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that. And then I'm going to make okay. this um, spicy sauce. Oh, that I'm heating up now. What's it called again? I'm oh, berry, berry, berry. Berry, berry sauce. So we in Ethiopia tonight, you guys. A fish that I didn't make the sauce with. Okay, I was, okay. I was supposed to make um, a garlic Ethiopian sauce. Okay. I was going to make it mild, um, but I never got around to it. But it's what just kind of, more, What kind, kind of fish is it? I brought it. And what kind of fish is it? And this is bronzini. Oh, yeah. Bronzini. Look at that, you guys. Woo. That's the Woo. fish for the Mediterranean. It's wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Look wonderful. at that juice. I wish I had a fingernail. Mm. Okay. Okay. And this is the spicy sauce. Can I Very, very. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hey, you guys. Happy Monday. How are y'all weekend? Today we're having a lunch mukbang. And, ooh, let me cut this heat down. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Suzette. Check my window sign. And today we got some Chipotle. Yes, we got a Chipotle bone. How are y'all? How are my honey faces? Ooh look. Ooh, look at that. Look how nice and fresh that is. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Yes, ma'am. So excited. Um, oh my gosh. My weekend was good. Um, went to church yesterday. The word was amazing. The word reflected um, around open your eyes. And, you know, it was left church in a really good mood. And then as soon as I stopped watching my phone, I mean, got on my phone, got online. It was so sad, you guys. I'm quite sure by now, because it's all over the news. It's all over social media about the passing of uh, <clears throat> Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old um, daughter, Gigi. It's so sad and so unfortunate. And let's just take this time to say prayers and just be thankful for each and every day that we have on this earth. Tomorrow's not promised. I know I got right into this video, so I'm going to go ahead and say grace. Good Lord, truly thankful about the receive nourishment on my body. It's Christ's sake and I redeem. Amen. And I can't imagine what <clears throat> Vanessa, his wife, is going through. I just, you know, it's so unfortunate. It's, so, it's such a sad situation. And not only that, it was other members on there. That passed away as well. 
They were sending, sending prayers and strength to their families as well. Love on your family while they're here, you guys, as much as you can. So, in my Chipotle bowl, I have chicken, corn, tomato salsa, fajita vegetables, lettuce, guac, and black beans. You guys, what do y'all get in y'all bowls when y'all go to Chipotle? Or do y'all get the tacos? Sorry, you guys. I got a phone call. So, like I was saying, what do y'all get in y'all bowls? Is it me or like from hearing that like traumatic accident yesterday just put a damper on everything? But on another note, let's get into this tea. So, this book right here, A Song for You by Robin Crawford, Whitney's best friend. That thing is so juicy, I have not been able to put it down. When I say, I was reading it to a hubby last night. In the bed, I've been reading it today. Like, I cannot put it down. It is so good, you guys. I encourage you guys, if you have not read it or you were second guessing, you know, it's really, really good. I think Robin did a very excellent job of explaining her and Whitney's relationship and not bad mother her still praising her um very good book hubby was on the fence about it because he was saying that um you know why come out with their little secrets and stuff now and especially after Whitney's no longer here to defend herself or hear her side of the story. But the book is not um it doesn't bring down Whitney's character at all throughout the book from the first time from the first page she is uplifted you can tell how much Robin loved her how much they loved each other just what kind of wonderful friendship they had. They gave me a lot of beans. What did y'all do this weekend? 
How was y'all weekend? Was it nice and relaxing? We got busy. Can I get me something to drink? I hope I brought my water bottle outside. No, I forgot it at the desk. Jeez Louise. I got my window down here. My coworkers. Miss my honey faces. I swear. That book is good. Mmm. I think I was hungry. They have like um now they have like a um they've been had like a beef but now they have like a different kind of steak. It looks pretty good. What was y'all Sunday's dinner? Your girl threw down. Woo! <clears throat> Dom was went down the wrong pipe. Yesterday I baked a ham. I did um New York strip steaks. I made mashed potatoes. I made um sauteed spinach. I made um how many one of these? So y'all. Hoping I should have caught. So you guys decided to hold the phone because it wouldn't stay where I had it. Um my lunch break is almost up anyway, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna try to stay blessed and less stressed. Be kind to others. Don't let nobody take you out of yourself. Ignore ignorance. Put God first. And until next video, honey faces, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like this video with anyone, everyone. Comment down below. I love you guys. Be good. Bye.